Marvel Civil War is considered one of the most captivating storylines in the cinematic universe. With the exception of the Avengers, Marvel's Civil War is one of the few stories that bring all superheroes together. The narrative was originally penned by Mark Miller and Steve McNiven in 2006. However, it was the Marvel Cinematic Universe that truly elevated this concept. Thanks to this masterclass of unique direction, we were introduced to a new host of superheroes like the Black Panther and a new Spider-Man under the Marvel banner. Marvel's Civil War storyline is unique, as it explores the inner turmoil of the team. Instead of the Avengers fighting a common foe, they instead have an all-out war with each other. The genesis of Marvel's Civil War was introduced when a young team of superheroes accidentally blew up a school. This happened while attempting to apprehend a group of supervillains. After public outcry, the government reevaluated its stance on superheroes and the lack of oversight they have. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the story is very similar. The destruction caused by the effects of the first two Avengers movies led the government to the conclusion that stricter oversight is needed. Iron Man agreed to the terms laid out by the government, while Captain America resisted. With the two leaders on opposite ends, the conclusion is self-explanatory. An all-out civil war breaks out that concludes in an epic battle between Captain America and Iron Man. The Superhuman Registration Act is what ultimately led to Marvel's Civil War. This mandate dictates that all those with superhuman abilities register with the government and disclose the true nature of their capabilities. In addition, they are required to undergo official training in order to become an agent of the state. This government decision leads to a deep divide within the Avengers team. Superheroes such as Captain America feel that this is the government's way of controlling the superheroes. Considering the discrimination that the mutants face within the same Marvel Universe, although in a different timeline, his fears might not be completely off. At the heart of the Civil War is two clashing ideologies. Tony Stark believes that certain checks and balances are needed. On the opposing end is Captain America, who believes that the safest hands are their own. Thus, he opposed any government oversight. Since Captain America is a war veteran known for following orders, his stance in this instance can be viewed as contradictory. However, he has always been independent, standing up for what he believes is correct. In this case, independence away from government oversight is just cause. This predicament divides the Avengers, and a civil war breaks out. The final battle line is drawn when Iron Man's best friend War Machine is paralyzed. This sets into motion a huge fight between the format Avengers teammates. The likes of Black Panther, Spider-Man, and Ant-Man are introduced during this civil war. All these superheroes will later go on to become full members of the Avengers. The Marvel heroes being pitted against each other means that Earth is without their mightiest warriors. For non-comic book readers, the death of Captain America might come as a shock to you. The Maku is responsible for bringing the comic books to life. For many, this is all they know about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, there is an alternate story to the one Marvel told in the movies. In this version Captain America is shot by crossbones while Sharon Carter delivers the final blow. In the movie, Captain America comes off a bit easier. While he is labeled an enemy of the state, he does not lose his life. While Captain America is brought back later, his death sends shockwaves across the comic book world. Captain America's death is a high price that all the superheroes paid during the Civil War. The fallout from the Civil War storyline extends far beyond the final battle. The superhero community is left fractured and scarred with Captain America dead and Iron Man grappling with guilt and remorse. The government's implementation of the SRA creates a new status quo, with registered heroes serving as government-sanctioned enforcers, while unregistered heroes operate as fugitives. This division sets the stage for subsequent storylines and reshapes the landscape of the Marvel Universe. Civil War fundamentally changed the dynamics of several key characters within the Marvel Universe. Iron Man, once seen as a playboy billionaire, transitions into a more complex, and morally ambiguous figure. The burden of responsibility and the consequences of his choices weigh heavily on Tony Stark. 
leading to significant character development. On the other hand, characters like Spider-Man experience a profound transformation. Peter Parker is an original supporter of the SRA. However, after his aunt becomes a target of supervillains, he is forced to rethink his position. Spider-Man switching sides is one example of the emotional toll the Civil War had on the heroes. The aftermath of Civil War reverberates through subsequent Marvel storylines, influencing major events and shaping the trajectory of the Marvel Universe. The Dark Reign storyline follows Norman Osborn's. It showcases his rise to power after the Skrull invasion. The events of Civil War are a direct consequence of the power vacuum created by the disbandment of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the fractured superhero community. Additionally, the heroic age that follows Dark Reign sees an attempt to rebuild trust among superheroes and restore the traditional heroic ideals that were tarnished during the Civil War. The event's impact is felt in various titles, with writers and artists exploring the psychological scars, strained relationships, and the lingering distrust among characters. Given the monumental impact of the Civil War storyline in the comics, it was inevitable that the narrative would find its way to the big screen. In 2016, Marvel Studios released Captain America Civil War, directed by Anthony and Joe Russo. The film adaptation diverges from the comics in certain aspects. However, it still captures the essence of the ideological conflict, the emotional toll on the characters, and the epic superhero clashes. The film introduces the Sokovia Accords, an unsanctioned agreement that mirrors the SRA in the comics and pits Iron Man against Captain America. The conflict is sparked by the collateral damage caused by the Avengers' previous missions and the fear of unchecked superhuman activities. The film masterfully translates the moral ambiguity of the source material, forcing audiences to question which side they would choose in the face of such a complex dilemma. Marvel's Civil War storyline remains a defining moment in comic book history, showcasing the capacity of superhero narratives to explore complex moral and ethical questions. The ideological clash between Iron Man and Captain America, the battles between heroes, and the emotional fallout contribute to the depth and richness of the narrative. The impact of Civil War is enduring shaping the Marvel Universe for years to come and serving as a testament to the storytelling prowess of the creative minds behind the comics and the cinematic adaptations. As fans eagerly await the next phase, it is evident that the echoes of Civil War will continue to resonate in the ever-evolving landscape of Marvel's superhero storytelling.